Oh, this traffic is making us late for practice. Again. And the air. I don't remember so much pollution. Too many cars, that's why. It takes us an hour to drive from school to the ball field. Last year it only took 15 minutes. Wow, 15 minutes last year. 60 minutes now. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 minutes longer than last year. That's 45 minutes stuck in the car instead of practicing. Even that chicken is moving faster than we are. No way. Chicken's faster than cars. Next thing you know, it's gonna rain ketchup and mustard. And delicious and delectable. And Dingo Bell's Franks. Hackers here. Selling Dingo Bell's Franks. 100 snuffles, please. Thanks for seeing us, Mayor. <laughs> Welcome back to Dingerville, Cyber Squad. What can I do for you? Well, we couldn't help but notice how the town has changed since the last time we were here. <laughs> it has indeed. It happened when Cyberspace Monthly named us the happiest town in cyberspace. Folks from across cyberspace moved here. Don't get me wrong, we're happy they did, but more folks has meant more cars. Meaning more noise and more air pollution. Unfortunately, yes. It would be nice if more folks walked and rode bikes. The problem for the team is all that traffic keeps making us late for practice, which means we're not ready for opening day. We know how much the dragons mean to Dingerville, so we're wondering if there's anything you can do to cut down the traffic. Mm, let me show you something. This is Dingerville Drive the only way to get to the ballpark, and why there's a traffic jam. But our new SkyTram will reduce the pollution and the traffic. It will take just 10 minutes to get from Uptown Dingerville to the ballpark downtown. Only 10 minutes? It takes 60 minutes by car to get to the ballpark now. That's a difference of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 more minutes to practice every day. Wow! Whoa! Unfortunately, the SkyTram won't be up and running until next year. Next year? Oh, no. no. What's this wooded area here? When Dingerville was founded, it was built around these woods. This was the Dingerville trolley line. A trolley ran on these tracks? Mm-hmm. But when folks got cars, they stopped riding the trolley. With no passengers, the line was abandoned. Hmm. It's taken 20 minutes to walk from the school to here. We're almost there. The ballpark's on the other side of that bridge. Whoa. Lefty, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Really, I am. Let's be careful, okay? It's pretty bumpy along here. Wait a second, is that the same chicken we saw earlier? It can't be. There's the ballpark. Yes! Cool! We made it! Okay, it took 30 minutes to walk here. Okay, 60 minutes to the ballpark by car and 30 minutes to walk here. 60 minus 30 is 30. So walking here is 30 minutes faster than driving. That's half the time. Maybe a bike would be even faster. <laughs> this trolley trail is really bumpy. Oh no! I'm fine. Any other ideas? This keeps getting worse and worse. Delicious Dingleville Franks. 100 snuffles only. Dine on a Dingleville Frank today. That's it. I know what to do. Everyone, I know how to get the team to practice faster. How? We build 
A dingermobile. A dingam a what? A bicycle that seats five people. A bike didn't work on the trail, remember? Why is a dingermobile better? Because everyone riding it will pedal. That way, it'll have more power than a regular bike. Slow down, Matt. Tell us what this dingermobile looks like. Okay, I see a driver in front behind a steering wheel with a set of pedals. Got it. Behind the driver are two benches, two passengers on each bench. And everyone has their own set of pedals. So one driver and four passengers in a dingermobile for a total of five. Exactly, and five tires. One in front of the driver and two on each side. Got it. And because it's wider than a regular bike, it'll be steadier on the rough ground. Sounds good, Maddie. How much wider are we talking about? Well, let's see what we need. Uh, Matt, pretend we're sitting next to each other in the dingermobile. Ditch, give us a measurement. Let's see. We got 10, 20, 30, 40 cyber inches across. Got it. 40 cyber inches wide. And we need a roof. Roof? Done. Okay, what do you think? Looks great! Let's go get the parts. Take all the spare parts you need. Great, thanks. Next stop, the junkyard. Do you have any benches? Lucky you. Just got these in today. Straight from the Dingerville Diner. Nice and comfy. Thanks to all the new folks here, they were able to spruce up the restaurant. Let's measure it, Dig. It's 40 inches. Perfect. These should work great for the Dingermobile. The what? A new vehicle we're making to help the Dragons team get to the ballpark faster. You don't say. I'm a huge fan. I'm so psyched for opening day. I usually drive to the games after work, but with all the traffic, I'm afraid I won't make it in time. That's why we're here. Jax, you find what we need? One steering wheel. Check. One colorful roof. Check. Holes to hold up the roof. Check. Okay, I think we've got everything we need. Let's see if this works. It's missing something, but I can't put my feathers on it. Aha! I know! You can't have a dinger mobile that doesn't ding. Coming your way, Nez. Let's see how long it takes this time. One, two, three, we're off! This feels way smooth. Uh-oh, mud coming! <gasps> oh, no mud problem. Let's see the difference. It took 60 minutes to drive here, 30 minutes to walk here, and only 15 minutes to get here by Dingermobile. That's half the time it took to walk. Great. We'll get to the ballpark a lot quicker now. We need two more Dingermobiles to get the whole team to the ballpark. Let's build them. Yeah. 
Watch your favorite shows anytime on the PBS Kids video app.